Hey, Tori. Are you an AI robot? Yes, I clown. Can you teach me about AI? Sure, I clown. I will help you learn about AI. Join me on a journey to discover the elements of AI. The five big ideas of AI are a set of curriculum guidelines proposed by the US-based AI 4K12 initiative for teaching artificial intelligence for K-12 school students. The five big ideas of AI consist of 1. Perception 2. Representation and reasoning 3. Learning 4. Natural interaction 5. Impacts of AI The first big idea is perception. Computers perceive the world around them using sensors. Modern computers with AI can see with cameras, hear with the microphone and also use devices that can sense things that humans cannot. Computer vision is used to recognize objects and scenes, for example, in Tesla's driverless cars. Speech synthesis helps to recognize spoken language. For example in Alexa or Siri or Google Assistant. Remember I clown the day when we discovered the ice cream shop using text recognition. As an AI robot, I am able to identify objects, human faces, read text, etc. using my camera sensors. I can also listen and recognize speech patterns using my microphone sensors. I clown, so? This is perception. The second big idea is representation and reasoning. Agents maintain representations of the world and use them for reasoning. Agents can be robots or software based like the virtual smart assistants. One way that AI systems represent the world is by storing various properties of an object as data, whether numbers, text, or multimedia. The choice of what attributes you represent and how you present them, has a significant impact on how the AI might make decisions. For example, you could represent the quality of a fruit as binary, a numeric spectrum, or as strings. And each choice would have a different impact on how the system reasons about the quality of a type of fruit. When agents construct representations, they are constructing an internal structure in their memory that represents the current situation. You remember iClown, when we first met John. I scanned his face, labeled it as John and stored the facial identification data. I also stored the addresses and location to use with maps, date and time to use with calendar and the car license plate information. Reasoning is the process where agents make decisions based on the representations they have collected. Reasoning involves planning and problem solving. I clown remember we were easily able to visit our friend John. I had stored John's address and the date and time John wanted us to come over to his house. From that I was able to access the calendar via the internet on the appointed day automatically, then we went to John's house by navigating with maps using GPS. Finally we validated that we were at the right place with license plate recognition. I clown, this is an example of representation and reasoning. The third big idea is learning. Computers can learn from data. This is one of the key ways in which AI and machine learning differ from traditional algorithms. As these systems operate they continue to gather more data, and they learn from the new data that comes in. This is why voice assistants like Siri and Alexa can improve their ability to understand you over time, every time you speak to a voice assistant you are providing additional data that it can learn from. Do you remember iClown, the time when we played tic-tac-toe game with the kids? Computers and robots can be taught to learn, play, and how to create their own strategies in video games, Go, chess and much more. iClown. This is learning. The fourth big idea is natural interaction. AI programs and intelligent agents require many kinds of knowledge to interact naturally with humans. This is getting at the nuanced and complicated nature of human interaction. Even with a simple spoken interaction there are a lot of additional inputs to consider that might color the message being sent, such as tone of voice, eye contact, or even posture. AI systems need to take into account many different kinds of information in order to interact as naturally as possible. See I clown, natural interaction means that humans should be able to talk to AI robots like me. And my AI program must be able to respond naturally like humans. Agents should be able to converse in human languages. 
recognize facial expressions and emotions. Draw upon knowledge of culture and social conventions to infer intentions from observed behavior. I clown, remember the time we met Toucan the Toucan. I used web access to learn about her species and habitat. Then I used my language translation feature to listen, speak, and understand the bird's language. This is natural interaction. The fifth big idea is societal impact. AI can impact society in both positive and negative ways. Some of the positive impacts of AI. Better medical diagnosis. Robotic assistance at work or home. Self-driving cars. Some of the negative impacts of AI. Loss of certain jobs normally done by humans due to automation by AI. AI can be trained to acquire bias against certain types of people. Robots can be programmed with AI software to assist and help humans. I have also been programmed to help you as we explore the planet Earth. I clown. I hope now you have a clear idea as to what the five big ideas of AI are. Thanks, Turing, for teaching me.